The question that we have today is that can we is can we explain Matthew chapter five verse twenty? So as always, what do we like to do? <laughs> we need to read the verse. And so Matthew chapter five verse twenty says, "For I say to you that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees." You will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. So I wonder what it is they're wanting us to explain. All right. They're wanting us to explain, I, I feel like, what is the righteousness that exceeds that of the Pharisees and the scribes okay. in this situation? And a good point for us to look at is Matthew 23. Okay. Uh, Matthew 23 and verse number three, we see there in that situation as the Lord is, the Lord tells them that, don't be like these individuals. Ah, there we go. They put themselves in authority. They've put themselves in Moses' seat. Uh, they bark out orders that they themselves will not do. They put burdens upon men that they are unwilling to do. It says, for you, okay, hear their commands and do the work, but don't do as they do in the example that they set. So, James also lets us know in James chapter 2, 17, that faith without works is what? It's dead. It's dead. And so the, the, the scribes and the Pharisees, they have a faith that is dead, which is ultimately no faith, right? All right exactly. <laughs> they have a faith that is a dead. So their righteousness is pretty much no righteousness. They have the faith, but yet they won't do the works. They won't put in the works. So one that exceeds a righteousness that exceeds theirs is one who does the work, a yeah. faith that does and obeys the commands of the Lord. Well, let's not forget also the context of that passage. That's right in the beginning of the Sermon on the Mount. Mm -hmm. And the Sermon mm -hmm. on the Mount is basically a, a lesson or a manifest manifesto, if you will, of what Jesus wants in regards to his kingdom. He's bringing a kingdom and these are the kind of people that he wants in his kingdom. Right. And he even says in verse 17, don't think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I came to fulfill it. So they're mm -hmm. trying to figure out, okay, if the Pharisees are the ones that are the law guys, and I'm supposed to be like that. Jesus is helping them understand, no, no, there's something else and, and it's better. There's something else that you need to attain to. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, sir. So the, to, to hopefully that, has helped people uh, who, who, who don't have a great explanation of this verse to understand what's taking place here. And if it's just like we said, one who wants to know what, what righteousness exceeds theirs. Okay. Well, that's it. One who uh, is willing to allow their faith to accompany the works. You want to be a follower, an obedient follower of the Lord uh, and do what he commands. Amen.